Hello everyone and welcome to the Big C ISO vlog. Hello everyone. Um, it is a lovely Thursday today. I've just come home from work early because uh, Zach just tested positive for COVID and I have to come home because I'm now in close contact. Um, love that for me. Probably have COVID. Thought I dodged that last week with uh, the tonsillitis saga. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I would have it now. So that's really cool. Um, <laughs> love that. So I'm about to go inside and take a test. And I'm probably going to be stuck inside for the next week. So cool, 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 cool. We do have to wear N95 masks at work. Um, so like work should be fine. Um, but yeah, I've obviously, I've been at Zach's house all week this week. So I've been with him all week. So I don't doubt that I would have it too. Unless I'm some sort of superhuman. I can't stop looking at my teeth when I talk. It's because I've got my Invisalign in, so I look real funny. I think I sound funny too. Cool. Okay. Yep. Let's go take this test then, I suppose. Um, oh, she's got it. No, she doesn't. I can't even see it on here. Yeah, you can. Can now. Oh, sorry, I don't have it. No. This has just turned into a giant mukbang, 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 mukbang. So, babe, how was our first day in isolation together? Long. Did you uh, enjoy yourself? Yeah, but I'm fine. No. I didn't laugh. Not at all. Did you? No, I kind of want to kill you now. <laughs> Six days to go. <laughs> Just kidding. We officially started isolation yesterday, so we had our first full day yesterday. And we literally sat in Zach's room the whole time. So we're isolating at Zach's house. Um, so we are just like staying in his room all the time or if we have to come out for whatever reason, we're wearing masks. Um, and yesterday we were stuck in his room all day. But today I decided it's time to get some fresh air because Sitting in his room all day yesterday was not a lot of fun. 
so i've literally been sitting out here all morning and it's been so nice i had breakfast out here and now it's like lunchtime and i did read a bit this morning and then yeah i've just been chilling out here and it's been so nice to not be in the one room and it's been one day i was in there for one day and i'm already like nah get me out but it is so nice that we have somewhere that we can come out and hang out but yeah considering we do have the big c our symptoms are not too bad at all i feel pretty much fine i've just got a bit of a sore throat and an occasional cough i think zach is pretty much the same he's a bit more snotty than me but yeah we're pretty much fine so it's just zach and i that have it at the moment um the rest of his family have been okay i think because yeah we were here like the whole week leading up to when zach tested positive so hopefully everyone else stays fine i think zach said he was kind of losing his taste a bit today like he couldn't really taste his breakfast so <laughs> um he has like a little bit of taste but not much apparently i really want to like i don't just want to lay in bed all day every day like i want to actually get some stuff done this would be a really good opportunity to get a lot of my study done because i am actually um like doing a tafe course at the moment for my cert three in dental assisting i've been doing it for a while now but this would be a really good opportunity to get a lot of that work done because i don't get a lot of other time like i don't get a lot of time otherwise so yeah i really need to actually do some stuff and not just sit on my phone all day which is what i did yesterday <laughs> but that's okay i've had a day to just lay down and do nothing and now i need to not do that so yeah yay it's finally caught up to me i really like i thought i dodged it because obviously last week i had tonsillitis and i was so certain that i had the big c but i kept testing negative which i was very surprised about but zach just has to go and get it didn't he but yeah anyway i've been sitting out here for a long time so i'm thinking i might go inside now for a little bit inside meaning straight back to zach's bedroom <laughs> i do have my mask Ugh. to wear throughout the house because i do not want to go giving it to anyone else while they don't have it so yeah fun times can you feel me and now it is time for dinner This is what I could be bothered cooking today. Good old cornflakes and peanut butter toast. Well, um, today, <laughs> Zach and I have been in bed um, for quite a long time this morning. All I'm gonna say is it's nearly 12 o'clock and I'm only just getting up and I don't wanna talk about it. I'm not gonna, don't even say anything about it. I don't wanna hear it. I'm getting up now. I um, had a little new friend come to visit. I may have popped that this morning. Moral of the story, I'm getting up now. I'm about to have breakfast when I should really be having lunch. Um, but yeah, we're not going to talk about it anymore, so good morning. I think this might be my morning ritual for this week. 
get my fresh air while I have my breakfast. To be fair though, the only reason we were like in bed till 12 is because we can't do anything else. Like we've got to either be out here or in Zach's bedroom. Like we can't go anywhere else. So what else were you meant to do? Zach and I pretty much both feel fine today too. Like Zach feels so much better and I feel completely normal. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Swear to God, whenever I eat out here, without a doubt, there is a wasp. This gets the shit out of me. I'm not a big fan. This was a really nice idea to like do all this outside, but I can't really see my screen very well. <laughs> so I may have to go inside. You know what I've come to realize recently, after all these years, is that I think I have a fear of pain, which is sometimes irrational. <laughs> Just like thinking about the wasp from, from before, so like I was terrified of that being near me because there is a slight chance that it could sting me and hurt me. So therefore, because of that fear of it stinging me, I am then scared of the thing. Does that make sense? So another example, cats. If I don't know the cat, I am scared of it coming near me because when I was little a cat came into my backyard and I tried to befriend it and it bit me and that really hurt it was painful so now if there's like a random cat and it's coming near me I don't want anything to do with it because there is the slightest chance that it could bite me and hurt me therefore causing pain I'm scared of the pain not necessarily the thing See, I always thought that I was just scared of everything, <laughs> but I think I'm scared of the pain that it could potentially cause me. And because I don't like being hurt, I mean, I don't think anyone does, but I'm constantly scared of getting hurt. Another example is ocean creatures. Not the creatures themselves, I actually think they're really cool. But the fact that they can hurt me. Because I have been, you know, swimming in the ocean, walking in the ocean, whatever. And I've been nipped on the foot by a crab. That hurt. So now, another, another one was, I was, um, I was only in shallow water, but like a little stingray came real close to me and obviously... They can sting you with their little barbs. So that's what I was scared of. So now when I go in the ocean, I'm terrified because I'm like, what's around me? What am I about to step on that's going to hurt me? I've just come to these realizations about myself. I'm not really scared of the thing. I'm scared of the fact that it can hurt me. Therefore, I'm scared of pain. I have a fear of pain. But then I like have tattoos on my body. <sighs> Doesn't make sense. Do you know what it is? I'm scared of unexpected pain. Pain that I'm expecting, like, yeah, it still hurts. But tattoos, for example, I knew they were coming. I knew it was happening, so I wasn't scared of it. What's today's activities? What are we up to? What's, what's in the itinerary? The busy schedule. 
Well, I'm about to go in his shell. And I might do some work on my computer. Might read some more of my book. And then, I don't know, probably uh, lay down on this very bed and watch some Pretty videos. Good. No, thank you. Oh. All right. TTYO. Okay. Huh? Okay. TTYO. Ow! <laughs> hey. Hey. Dinner time! Oh, 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 oh,